Hello everyone, today I want to tell you about Aloha 2 project from Google DeepMind and Stanford University. Aloha 2 is a research project for robots that can perform a whole range of household tasks. Here in the video, students demonstrate how a robot can change lenses, open can of cola. I'm very interested in the project and I want to build something similar at home, see what open source robot can do in the real life. What is demonstrated in the video is very impressive. The robot can fold things, clean up dishes, water the flowers. Aloha 2 is open source project and their creators position it as low cost. The researchers publish the full documentation of hardware and software. Here you can see the full list of what is needed for implementation. But the final cost of 27,000 doesn't look low cost. I started looking, the following items accounted for a significant share of the cost. A Viper X, a 300, 6 degrees of freedom, a robot arm from Rosen Robotics is $6,000. Windows uh, 250, also 6 degrees of freedom, a robot arm from Trossen Robotics, $3,500. Computer from MSI company, 4,000. So of the 27,000 of dollars, 20 were for manipulators from Tross and Robotics and another 4,000 for the computer. If you're talking about significant reduction of the cost, then we need to look to alternative manipulators. I also found commercial version of ready to use Aloha 2 mobile station from Agile X, which is generally not much difference from what is presented on Aloha 2 site. Here is another version from Elephant Robotics, price $80,000, also doesn't seem very affordable. So the price is generally comparable to what is obtained based on a kit from Tross and Robotics. Let's try to find something more affordable. Manipulators, uh, the main characteristics are 6 degrees of freedom and length of manipulator is uh, 750 millimeters. This one is already two times cheaper. The cost is around 3000 with similar characteristics. If to reduce requirements from 6 degrees of freedom to 4 degrees of freedom, the length of manipulator from uh, 750 millimeters for let's say 500 millimeters, then I found this option just for 250 euros, which is already 10 times cheaper than the previous manipulator. I also like the open source project, the name Open Manipulator X, but they still use high cost servers from Dynamixel. If our goal is uh, to significantly reduce the price of the project, then the main thing that we need to focus is reducing price of manipulators. If you look at detailed breakdown of the cost of manipulators parts from Tross and Robotics, then the half of the cost uh, is servo drivers. So the cost of the manipulator can be reduced uh, the following way. Uh, number one is uh, reducing the number of degrees of freedom and number of servo drivers that we use inside into RoboArm and finding the cheaper servo drivers. Rick Bettil engineers took the Trossen Robotics robot arm design and built it with more affordable servo motors so you can see that it works pretty well. I think about the following similar paths to minimize the cost of development of my own manipulator. I have an engineer education. I even managed to work in the design department for about a year, but I don't have a commercial experience. This week I found an experienced engineer and we already defined an action plan. I think I'll demonstrate our results probably in, in the end of the February or beginning of March. See you later.